Welcome to the last three brain cells here. I'm um, Sammy Terramini here, along with my co-host uh, Ian Albert Weatherspoon. Who Love just, when you get my full name every time. Who just gave up the um, fantasy football trophy, which I wanted real badly, but unfortunately, I lost the heartbreaker to Joe Johnson. You didn't sniff that trophy, buddy. I know I didn't <laughs> sniff that trophy. I lost in the first round. Yeah. So how have you been? Pretty good, man. That's good. I mean, everything going good for you, man? Yeah, yeah. I'm still riding high from the 2023 Lions season. I know you're still riding high. Did you see, did you see a new uniform throughout football? Yeah. I mean. What do you think? I hate the Broncos uniforms. Yeah. I thought the Jets, weird. I thought the Jets kind of nailed their uniforms a little bit. Yeah. But I really thought the Lions nailed theirs. You liked it. I love that they're blacks. Ah. They are beautiful you love those huh i love those helmets oh you like the with the black lion the black lion i love those and okay. then the, what pants should they wear though with that combo you black like, you like the black I like yeah, all black good man you gotta yeah. go all black you know i yeah. love the all white combination um i wish you could put that blue helmet though on there you know what i mean the with the black lion with, with the black lion with the white on white gotcha that would be awesome well, what about the helmet they came out with last year, that alternate blue helmet? I liked it. You know what I mean? I liked it. Just, I didn't like the color rush part of it. See, well, see, I think they should wear that helmet with the all whites. Really? I think that would look cool because it's got some white in the logo yeah. on the helmet. <laughs> yeah, it would look good. It would look really good. But what about their, okay, their home, regular blue, silver <sighs> pants? Get rid of the silver pants. Everything's fine. You want the all blues? I want the all blues. Okay. All blues. I'll tell you what, I, I like that home. Uh, uh, blue and gray combo. Yeah. Uh, well, they they're cursed with the gray combo. They're, they're not cur- cursed, but they played. They wore. They played Seattle with those pants and lost, yeah, and then they played nah. Green Bay and got destroyed. Uh, well. Mm-hmm. That happens. Hey, yeah, I know it happens, but I'm telling you, right? Were they wearing their throwbacks when they got beat by Green Bay? Mm-hmm. Yep. So we got something coming up in Detroit this weekend. Yeah. Called the NFL Draft. Are you gonna be there? No. You're not attending. No, I want to. Yeah? I wish my assistant principal, Nick Garcia, at Oakview Middle School attends. You know, I think that would be good. Is he going? I don't know if he's going or not. I don't think he's going. Okay. But, but we got like... Um, it's a big week. Big week. You know, so we got to kick off the NFL draft. You know what I mean? We're going to preview each team. What do you think they need? Oh boy. Um, here we go. Here we go. We ready? Yeah. You ready, brother? We're going to take it down the draft order. Let's go draft order. Yeah, okay. let's go draft order. Wait, now, who doesn't have a first-round pick? We want to make sure. Carolina that. does not have a first-round pick. Isn't there somebody else? Uh, I think Houston does. Let me see. I don't think Houston does not. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But Here's I know Carolina, Carolina for sure. Because they, they, what they did was probably one of the most. Why would you draft? Um, was it Bryce Young? Yeah. <laughs> why? Bryce Short. Why? He's not that big. Yeah. And then you have a terrible year, yeah. and then you finish the year with the worst pick, and you got to trade that pick to Chicago. Which I kind of love that Chicago has the first pick in Detroit because we will be able to cause a ruckus. Oh, I know they're going to cause a ruckus. Which Roger Goodell gets there, then they're going to really boot oh, yeah. live a day like that. And they're still upset about what happened in Dallas. Well, is there any town in in the NFL – that should boo Roger Goodell more than the Lions. Yes, they should because they got screwed. That guy should get because he represents the league, the officiating, all of it. Yes. over the years, over the years, and I, just because we had a good year, yeah, does good not year. Mean we forget the Dallas game. You should never Lions even this year, never forget. Even this year, we got screwed. That's right. Yeah, the Dallas game, perfect yeah. example. That is a perfect example. Mm-hmm. All right, let's get this. Let's get this party rolling here. All right. First overall pick, we got Chicago Bears. Yeah. I mean, you know for the right sake of mind, because they just traded Justin Fields to um, Pittsburgh, Mm -hmm. and everything fits with Caleb Williams going over there. Yeah. Caleb Williams, to me, is like a beautiful disaster (laughs) waiting to happen. Now, I've seen Caleb Williams when he played Oklahoma, when he did in my beloved Texas Longhorns. And then he transferred to USC. Didn't do much at SC. Followed Lincoln Riley around. So now he's going to be. I didn't realize that. Yeah. He followed Lincoln Riley. Huh. I yeah. didn't realize. I've... Oklahoma. Yeah. 
Oklahoma. Okay, go ahead. He played at Oklahoma. Right. I remember watching the game against them when they had the 2021 Cotton Bowl Classic at um in Dallas, where um he led them to an upset of Texas, which that was nuts. But everything points and starts with Caleb Williams. Yeah. And do you see Chicago maybe going elsewhere with this pick? Maybe, or do you think he's gonna get Caleb Williams? I really think it's Caleb Williams. Which to what me, would what would he give Chicago? I don't know. You don't. I don't know. It's so hard <laughs> to judge uh, quarterbacks going yeah. from college to the pros. You know, you look at a guy. You look at the 2021 draft class. You know what I mean? Well, oh right, my goodness. Right. There's, there's but, one guy still left from their on their current team, and the that is team? and the original team, and that's um, Trevor. you know, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. I mean, everybody else yeah. got traded. Right. I mean, Zach Wilson to the Denver Broncos. Yeah, I get he's a Western kid. I mean, BYU's in Utah, and uh-huh. I know that that's Bronco country. Yeah, it's Bronco country, and makes sense. I makes mean, the sense, kid to sir. me has the talent. Yeah, it but flashes. he was put, it flashes. He was put in a terrible situation in New York. My goodness. I mean, just because it's the Jets. It's yes. the Jets, yes. yes. It's the Jets. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. But still, but still. And then, yeah. Anyways, Chicago. Yeah. Chicago, Caleb Williams. For me, yeah. it's hard to judge. A it's hard to judge. It's hard to envision. You know, yeah, I, I think hard. about a recent Pac-10, Pac-12, whatever quarterback, doesn't even exist anymore, Pac, uh, Justin Herbert. Yeah, didn't think he was going to be the pro or the passer he turned out to be. He turned out to be a heck of a passer. Right. And so it's hard to tell. To me, Caleb Williams has bust written all over him. He's got the arm talent. He's got the, the talent, running ability. But the, 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 the game is so much different mm-hmm. in the NFL. Mm-hmm. The talent, it doesn't translate. No. Got, there's trans- such a floor for talent that, uh, th- to me, it's all mental. Mm-hmm. Especially with the quarterback, especially in a big town like Chicago, especially with the team. Have they ever had a good quarterback in their history? I think Jay Chicago, Cutler was probably their best one. Or McMahon. Or, yeah, back McMahon in the day. Back in I don't the even day. know. Harbaugh? Who knows? Who knows? They don't have good quarterback no. history. And so, I to me, I love it. Because kids here. He's going to get booed. That might rattle his cage a little bit. Maybe. And He's going to have to go to Detroit twice. He's going to have to go to Detroit right. at least. And then, you know, then you're playing in that division, the NFC North, where you have and exactly where you have some proven defenses. I mean, Detroit. Right. You got Green Bay, who's got a Where good... is he from? Like, where was he born in high school? Do you know? I do I not know. know where he was born. Well, he didn't play a lot of cold weather games at Oklahoma. No, but he's Southern going California. to be playing a ton yeah. of cold weather. Maybe, I think the coldest... He's played in maybe Iowa or Kansas. I mean, because that one's a Big Twelve. Okay. Maybe Washington, obviously, because uh, like you know, Wa- so Washington, yeah, Washington State. Yeah. 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 I mean, when they were the SC, so. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I don't think they go anywhere else. You don't think they go anywhere else? That's their pick. I think. Okay. So we're going Caleb Williams. Next, we have the Washington Commanders. Yeah. We still call you still calling the Redskins? No. Why? Because that's not their name anymore. I still call. Them. I mean, it slips sometimes. Yes, but I try to just say Washington. Mm-hmm. Yes, because who knows? They could even change their name again. Right. New so Washington. here's Washington. Yeah, they got they got a mess, yeah. but they did make some free agency moves. I mean, uh-huh. they did make some free agency moves. Um, new Austin coach. Eckler, new coach Austin Eckler's there. Yeah. Um, Sam Howell got traded. Seattle. To Seattle. Yeah. yeah. You know they're going quarterback. Yeah. So, which one? Which one? Who are you thinking? Who are you thinking? Do you have anybody in mind? Uh, is it Drake May? I think Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels the, or Drake May is the betting favorite. Uh, yeah, I mean he's an, he's a proven passer. He played in the SEC, but then again, we've seen what SEC quarterbacks have done. He seems not kind of too small well in the NFL. Too. He's I don't know small. How tall he is, but he seems he's not that big. Slight. He's slight, but he's not really that big. Right. I mean. You gotta look at. Um, That's a tough division. It is too. NFC East. NFC East. You got Philly. Well, Philly's got no coordinators. Um, Dallas. Did they hire Vic Fangio as their D coordinator. 
They just hired him. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they got coordinators. They had no coordinators last year. No. They went with Matt Patricia as the defensive coordinator, <laughs> which you know how that was. Soleimani has to be on the hot seat now. Sirianni? Sirianni, he's yeah, got to be on the hot seat. Why? He should have gotten fired. <laughs> he should have gotten fired. Yeah, he looks like an adult just straight off. He doesn't look like head coach material. Oh, my you know? goodness gracious. So now you look at with Washington. Yeah. And I still think they're going to go quarterback. They're definitely going to go quarterback. They're going to go. But I think they're going to go May over. You think they're going Drake May? I think they're going Drake May. I really do. May I present the name J.J. McCarthy to you? J.J. McCarthy. Any chance he goes number two? I think he's got a chance to go number two. I do, too. I think he's got he's got, he's got got creativity on his side. I mean, but Washington, when they did a couple years ago, they drafted a quarterback by the name of, um, I got to remember his name. I mean, like Dwayne Haskell. They Did they draft him? Yeah, they drafted Dwayne Haskins. Hmm. So I thought Haskins oh, that's the right, late that's Dwayne right. Haskins. Right. You know what I, mean? right, right, right. I think that he would have I think he got a terrible end of the deal there at Washington. I think with Ron Rivera there, I think it was a terrible, terrible hmm. thing for him. Um so I don't know if I see JJ going to Washington. No. But I think they're gonna go more in line. But if he goes to Washington, that'd be good. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. I could see it. We'll see. I could see it. I mean. I don't know if it would work out. But. Mm-hmm. But then watch for Minnesota who can make a move. Denver can make a move, obviously. Even though I think Denver might be content with the quarterback situation. You think so? I don't Zach know. Zach Wilson and. Jared Stidham? Yeah. Jared Stidham? Yeah. Maybe they could be. Might as well be Jared from Subway. I mean, I don't think. It's careful good. now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> careful now. Yeah, we're, we're okay. Yep. Okay. Next is New England. Yeah. They declined their option on Mac Jones, who trade they traded to Jacksonville. Jacksonville? Yeah, huh. they traded okay. Mac Jones to Jacksonville. So now you know with Bill Belichick no longer there. Yeah. They need a quarterback. Oh yeah. Actually they need everything. They need yeah. a receiver. Yeah. They need a they need everything. They're bad. What do you see them? Do you see them doing something? They could go after Mar- They could go after Harrison. They could. They could go after Harrison while I'm saying. So then, who would be their quarterback? What's his name from uh, Western Kentucky? Bailey, Bailey Zappi. Bailey Zappi. <laughs> Is he gonna? Are they gonna roll with him? <laughs> Bailey Zappi's not that good. Uh, no, he's he, not. He beat, the, he beat the Lions though when I was there. Yeah, but it's Dan Campbell's second year. The Lions are a different team now. They are a different team. True. Say that. <laughs> and okay, so do you see the Patriots? Okay, now that Bill's not in the picture, being more normal and like kind of by the book, like hey, you know, they're doing what people expect. Or do you see them still being crazy, crazy, crazy. New England? You think so? I feel like they're they crazy. are going to try to scrub the Bill Belichick scent. Off their franchise. How are they going to try that? I mean, he's his scent's still there. It is, and he controlled everything, and he drafted some wild people. I mean, you look at you look at what the Raiders did. I mean, my goodness. I mean, when they got rid of um, when they got rid of um, who was that? McDaniel. Josh McDaniels. Yes, and then Jimmy G. You know what I mean? Did himself no favors and got cut. So. Maybe Vegas might be looking for a quarterback. They're definitely looking for a quarterback. Vegas might be a team to really watch for. So what do you think of J.J. as a pro? I don't know about J.J. as a pro. I mean, this new I could see him going to New England here yeah. as a um, – I could see him going to New England even over Drake May because of that it factor. Okay. Um, they need some entertainment over there at Fox, bro. So I could see J.J. maybe going three. I could see that. That would, like, hmm. that would be, I mean, because they need creativity there. And J.J. gives them that creativity. So I could see three. We see J- J.J. is going to have to start right away then. Yes. Is he ready for the NFL? I don't know. Whoever New England drafts has to be ready to start. Whoever they yeah. do. Oh, yeah. Because 
if they don't, they're done for. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yes. Um, Next is number four, Arizona. Now Arizona's funny here because they need help at they need help everywhere. They could trade the pick for more picks. Minnesota has been mentioned as a top trade partner. Right. I mean, could Arizona be a team that trades down? I think they do. They could be. But they need Marvin. But Marvin Harrison Jr. looks, if he's available, right. should they take him? To me, that seems like the Arizona move, the Arizona way. Get a high draft pick receiver. <laughs> but you're right. They need everything. It would it would behoove them to trade back. Mm-hmm. Especially, okay, three quarterbacks are gone. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Three quarterbacks could be gone. Right. In the top three. I could this is where I could see Arizona trading. Yeah. With Minnesota. I could see Minnesota yeah. jumping here. Yeah. I really do. It would make sense. If Minnesota could get Drake May, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's four quarterbacks. <laughs> yeah. Four quarterbacks taken in the first first round. Man, I don't see any of these quarterbacks working out, to be honest. You think it's like the twenty twenty one class all over again? In a way. Yeah. I just don't I don't see it. I, I could be dead wrong, obviously. You but, could be. Yeah. I just, but then again, you never but then again, when it comes to NFL draft, you've never been wrong. I've never been wrong? No. Personally? Yeah. I've been wrong. I don't know anything about the draft. Oh no. Compared when to we, some people. When we talk giants, that's when we're gonna really get Okay. Critical. All right. Okay. Go let's, five here. All right, let's go to the Jim Harbaugh LA Chargers. Oh boy. They <laughs> are thirty four Point eight million over the salary cap. Still, yes, and they're thinking about drafting best player available, except at quarterback because they got a quarterback. Yeah. Do you think this is where Blake Corum, Marvin Harrison Jr. comes? I mean, they need help at wide receiver. They just traded Keaton Allen away. Right. They got. I mean, like they got rid of. Um, they don't have Mike Williams. Mike Williams anymore. Austin Eckler. They, Austin have Eckler. they, they don't want, they got to get weapons. Right. So. Yeah, I could see it if, if Harrison is go, not. Yeah, but Jim work. Harbaugh, you know what I mean? And Marv, and uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. is a Buckeye. Yeah. And Jim Harbaugh used to be a Wolverine. Yeah, but Marvin Harrison, his dad was a Colt, and so was Jim Harbaugh. So That's true. They can get over it. Yeah, they'll get over it. So we both think they're going wide receiver. They also need an offensive lineman, you know what I mean, as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They need help there. Right. So we'll see what happens there. Um, But they need, but they need, I mean, but they're 34 and a half over the cap, which is right. bad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're going to have to restructure some contracts, trade them. I mean, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, there's still another round of free agency and trades to happen mm-hmm. during mm-hmm. and after the draft. Oh, yeah. So, and then here comes my favorite team, the new my favorite team, the Criticize. Yeah, the New York Football Giants. You like criticizing Big Blue? Oh, Big Blue has done some stupidity lately. Yeah, yeah. Remember the last time they had number six pick? No. Remember Daniel, Daniel Bleepin Jones? Didn't they get him at like fifteen? No, they drafted him six overall in the first round. No. <laughs> yeah. No. They, yes, they did. You look it up. I think, I'm thinking Mac Jones. You're thinking Mac Jones. But New York drafted Daniel Jones yeah. over Josh Allen and Dwayne Haskins. That is absolutely terrible. Yeah. Now, people call this guy Danny Dimes, Danny Dimes, Danny Dimes. Yeah. He got paid. Yeah. You know what he did? Oh. Nothing. Right. He did nothing. Well, he got, he, he got hurt. He broke his neck. He got hurt. He threw a terrible interception against Seattle, which went for a pick six. I mean. He threw a pick to Aiden Hutchinson. I mean. Yes, he did. <laughs> and. He's awful. Yes. Giants are awful. They got. No. It just lost Saquon. Yeah. They got no running back, no receivers. No. I mean. No Offensive line is not good. They're brutal, man. They're brutal. I mean. Their coach. I don't know about their coach either. Where do you see the Giants going? 
second. You know what? How about this? Here's something for you. Ben Johnson, at the end of this year, moves on from the Lions. Brian Dable gets fired, and Dan Campbell hires him as his O coordinator. That's terrible. Watch it. Okay. I'm. All right. Moving right, on I'll, to what's Are we wagering this? I'll just put it on the board. Yeah. Okay. Put it on the board. Fine. Put All it right. on the board. One year from now, we'll One year from it. now, we're talking about this. All right. Okay. But they're drafting this year. They're drafting this year. Who are who do no they got to get? I have no idea. They need all help anywhere. They do. I talked to my I talked to Oakby assistant person Nick Garcia about the Giants. Yeah, is he a Giants fan? No. Oh, but they need help at wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, they need help at wide receiver. I mean, like they got their third receiver is I don't know who he is. I know one guy that I don't know if he's coming back. Darius Slayton. He's their top receiver, but he's not. I don't know. I don't know if he's coming back. Yeah. But what about Sterling Shepard? Is he still there? He's still there. Okay. But they got questions. They got questions. All right. Hodge. Huh? Kaderil Hodge. Maybe. Like that? Maybe. Maybe oh. go after him. I don't know. Uh, listen. They're screwed. <laughs> I know. They're still screwed, especially when you're in a division with Philadelphia, who just got right. better with their coordinator. Dallas, I don't trust Dallas one bit. Nah, they're like, you know, Michigan football used to always be. Yes. They look real pretty beating up the bad teams. But then right. when the bright lights are on. Bright lights are on. Guys. Bright lights go on. Just ask the Green Bay Packers that question. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. And then <laughs> you have Washington saw from the same same bill. Yeah. Then we go have the Tennessee Titans. Draft them seventh overall. Just lost Derrick Henry yeah. to the Ravens. Yeah. I mean. Are you not happy about that? Oh, no. I'm ecstatic about that. Okay. Just think about our friend Troy Anderley right now. Yeah, I don't care. Troy Anderley's crying right now. Sorry, Troy. Don't but, care. Poor Troy. Nah, Tennessee. He's a big Titans fan. You know that, right? Titans. I, shit, what a what a weird team. <laughs> they could just evaporate. No. They got care. Will Levis, who might be the quarterback for the future. He's not been good. Um, and Anthony Hopkins. They need. Or D Hop, DeAndre Hopkins. They need Anthony help on both sides of football. They need help. Yeah, who's their coach, too? Some former quarterback coach. Oh, Must my be on goodness. Lions staff. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Um, Not good. Do you think they go lineman? Because they, they did get rid of several linemen. I think they got to go offensive line. I could see that. They got to go offensive line. That I would mean, be the wise decision. They got to go offensive line. Yeah. Next is the Atlanta Falcons. Draft an eighth overall. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Kirk Cousins at quarterback. Um, I'm telling you right now, I think Atlanta wins the NFC South next year. Put it on record. I'd agree. Put it on record. I love the Saints. I love the Saints. I got yeah. questions. Yeah, lots of questions. Tampa's got some questions. Big time questions. And then Carolina's, Carolina's, <laughs> they're, they're a mess. Carolina, the Titans, the Giants. Yep. These teams. Yeah. What are they doing? <laughs> so, quarterback is going to be the key. They got to get a corner. They got to get a corner. Who's that now? Atlanta. Oh, yeah. They got to get a corner. Definitely D help or an O line. Yeah, they got O line help. They got to get a D line, too. But I mean, no more weapons for them. No more weapons. Quit drafting top 10 weapon people. You got to go get linemen. Holy That's your next cow. question now. Yeah. You get a lineman, it's gonna help you. Right. That should help you. You gotta protect Captain Kirk. Yes, you do. And then next we have the Chicago Bears. Oh my goodness. They got Car this is the second of their two first round picks thanks to Trevor Carolina. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, this is their pick, right? This is their pick, yep. Yeah. And then they better get they better get offensive line. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. They better get off its line help. Yeah. They're talented. They scare me a little bit, to be honest. Uh why would they scare you? Well, because you know, they could be good. They okay. got a good they got a good defense. Okay. And if Caleb Williams is good, who knows? Mm -hmm. They don't have who do they got? They got uh DJ Moore. Who's that other receiver? DJ Moore. Um, oh, Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen. Maybe get Both a are really good. Maybe get a receiver here. Maybe you think about it. Yeah. Maybe get a receiver With or maybe nine. Maybe they trade out of it. Maybe they trade out. Yeah, I think they could trade out and get more picks. 
They some, could. Maybe if a quarterback's still on the board. I don't see a somebody quarterback. Somebody jumps up, grabs him. I don't know. Or trades with it. Chicago to get I a quarterback. Don't, I don't know. Maybe the Lions could do it. You know, they've done they've done some crazy stuff in this draft. The Lions trade up to nine. Look at what they did to Chicago. look what they did with they traded with Minnesota to yeah. get Jameson Williams. Yeah. And then last year, Brian Branch. Remember that? Yeah. Brian Branch where they screwed the Packers in the second round. They didn't who'd they trade with to get they traded with uh, Green Bay. To get Branch? Yeah, Green Bay. They traded with Green Bay. Yeah, it's Green Bay. They traded with. Well, who'd they trade back with to get Gibbs and Laporte? Arizona. Okay. Arizona. Okay. Mm-hmm. So Chicago, they're gonna be interesting. They're gonna I, be interesting. I can see them trading that pick. Yeah, I can see them too. Then next is the Jets. I mean, they gotta get they gotta get offensive tackle and wide receiver are their top needs. They gotta get a brain examination. <laughs> I mean, they got Aaron Rodgers, their quarterback. Right. That's that's that's. Fault but they got to get an offensive tackle and then a um a wide receiver. Okay. I can't. I can't do another year of this Jets Aaron Rodgers. They have a defense though. They do. They do. They could win the NFC AFC East. Who knows? They Buffalo, certainly could. They can win it. I mean, Buffalo just went down. Yeah. Um. The Patriots. Patriots are. Eh. Miami's okay. <laughs> They're okay. They're okay. They're, they're not, okay. They're not great. They're not ever going to win if they unless they play all their games in Florida. Yes, because if they go on the road, bad things happen. Yes. I mean, they got they got offensive tackle and wide receiver. They got to get the help there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then next is one of my empire teams, the Minnesota Vikings. Okay. One of your empire teams. Yep. We get talked about quarterback. Get a new empire. You watch it. We, they got to get a quarterback, obviously. Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, Sam Arnold's not going to do it for you. They're going to trade. They're going to. They're going to trade up here. Sam, what is it? Minnesota's Darnold. trading up with Arizona for this pick. So they're going to move from eleven. Eleven to four. Because they have eleven and twenty-three, right? Yes, they traded with Houston. Okay. Mm-hmm. That seems about right. So Minnesota here. Good. Watch it. Watch Good. your likings. Good. I love that two division teams are going to spend top five picks on quarterbacks. In this mm-hmm. I love that. Mm-hmm. Well, the best, I don't see him working out. I mean, the best quarterback in the North right now is Jared Goff. Yeah, until proven otherwise. Sure. It's it's Jared Goff. Enough said. Yeah, of course. I mean, he. I mean, Jordan Love's solid. Jordan Love's getting better. Jared Goff had like a top five year yeah. last year. Well, the top five best, best quarterbacks in the league. Lo- Love had something. He had, oh, I think, one more touchdown pass. Than yeah. Goff, which is good. It's good. But, but I think he threw, Love threw more interceptions, though, than Goff. Yeah. 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 And I see Love throwing more interceptions moving forward, to be honest. That <laughs> yeah. little back foot throw stuff. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. Next is the Denver Broncos. I mean, you oh, bench. Oh, they are a mess. I mean, like, let me say something about their uniform real quick. Go ahead. Why do they look like the Chargers lightning bolts? They are the Chargers lightning bolts. So stupid. That's terrible. I they mean, they had a perfect opportunity to do like a silhouette of a mountain or something. I kind of feel I feel bad for Kevin Bowen, who's living in Colorado, and also Margaret Boresby, who's also living in Colorado. They are not Bronco fans. I know they're not. So don't feel bad. I know. Feel glad not. that they're Lions fans. But when I look at the these uniforms, yeah, the orange looks the retro the retro uniforms should be their permanent uniforms, right? But their their dark blue jerseys, <laughs> if they can go with the all the white helmet is awful. You don't like that? I hate the white helmet. Okay, so if they go with the all blue look there, okay, okay. If they go with the but there's so many questions. Yeah. There's so many questions. With, <laughs> I don't like them. No. But when you look at the team Denver has. Yeah. Quarterback is an issue. Yeah. They've got to get a running game. <laughs> they got to get line help. Uh-huh. They need help with this pick. They need to trade Patrick they get Sertain more to the Lions. 
Who's is that? Their, that's their cornerback, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So that would be nice. That would be really nice. How can we do that? That could be arranged. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Dad could call Sean. I doubt that. We'll see. Next is the Los Angeles Raiders. New coach the Antonio. Who? The Las Vegas Raiders. There we go. Sorry about that. Wrong apologies city. to the um. Apologize to the city of Vegas. I can't stand Vegas, by the way. What? I hate Vegas. Oh. Um. Anyway, but that's personally. Um. Aiden O'Connell's their starting backup. It's a starting quarterback. Yeah. Um. Today. Today. Do you see them maybe going to get a quarterback this round? Yes. Um, but all the top tier quarterbacks would be taken. Yep. This is where Bo Nix and Penix come into play. I think Michael Penix would look perfect as a Raider. Really? I think Penix would look perfect. Good passer. Right. Can run the ball. Right. Um, playing an indoor stadium will help. He's a guy that I actually could see. Having some success, I do. I mean, I could also see, I could also see Pedex maybe going to Denver too, if Denver stays at twelve. Wow, you think he's going to go that high, top of the I, draft? I think, I think I'm high on Pedex. Okay, I'm not on Knicks though, but I'm high on Pedex. Okay, mm-hmm. Pen Knicks, not Knicks. Pedex, yeah. Pen-ics. Next is the Earth team, the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, they just lost Marcus Davenport. Well, that's dumb. They lost Peyton Turner. Wait, Davenport. Davenport was in Minnesota. Yeah, but he used to be at Saint. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, they need an edge rusher. Yeah. They need an edge rusher. Their car's still the quarterback. <laughs> yeah. So. It's all about you, the trenches for me, man. What do you see? You going offensive line? One or of the lines. Line? Yeah, one of them. Because they need help both sides. There's that Texas D-line kid. I can't remember his name. Oh, yeah. Hook him, baby. Yeah. Hook him, horn. I can see him going here. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then next is the Indianapolis Colts. Yep. I mean, last year, Anthony Richardson, they're, they're addressed their quarterback needs. Guess they're getting hurt, done for the year. Yeah. Um. You, 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 you're all, they got proven off at the playmakers. Running game, Jordan Taylor's there. They got a pretty good team. They got a pretty good team. They got to get their defense fixed. And they need their quarterback to be healthy. Yeah. Quarterback needs to be healthy. They need a defense. They could use another receiver to pair with Pittman as well. Sure. The, yeah. I, I can see it happen here. I can see that Texas receiver going here. Oh, yeah. You see. Jarell um Worthy? Yeah. Jarell Worthy? Yeah. Oh. Could you just imagine that? Pittman on one side, Worthy on the other side. He's, he's scary. Yeah. Worthy is a scary guy. I remember what he did in the first play in the Red River against Oklahoma. Went 75 yards for a touchdown. He's pretty Less fast. Than, oh, he's really fast. <laughs> He's really fast. Yeah. I'm telling you. I know. He's a good player. Good player. Next, the Seattle Seahawks. Oh, baby. Oh, ba- oh my goodness. Quarterback. Yeah. They need a quarterback. Yeah. That's why I see Bo Nix. Really? I see Bo Nix in stays in the He stays in the P- Pacific Northwest, huh? He stays in the Pacific Northwest. I see him being a Seahawk. Drives north a little bit into Seattle. Yep. Interesting. From- Yep, from he can UG. sit behind uh, what's his name? Geno, too. Yeah, Geno Smith. Yeah, he could. He could. I mean, this is where I see. This is where I see him. I could also see them going defense with their new coach. Oh yeah, McDonald. Oh yeah, Mike McDonald. Yes, good coach too. He is a scary coach. What he did at Michigan, what he did with Baltimore, I mean, he's something. Yeah, they could go defense. They could. They could go defense. So we'll see. Um, next is the Jacksonville Jaguars. Start off eight and three. Oh boy! Finish the year at um one and um <laughs> one and one and done. One and five. One and don't matter. Oh my god! So when I look at Jacksonville, pass rusher, quarterback, corner, yeah, um, defensive line, big time DL. They need help on defense, right? I mean. They have Josh be, Allen on that defense, though. Yep. This could be where that Alabama corner goes, Terry on Arnold. Okay. Name. Yeah. Yeah. I could see I, it. I don't see him surviving the draft past Jacksonville. But who knows? He could go. He could go. You know what I mean? Who knows? Yeah. Um, 
18th pick, Cincinnati Bengals, the who days. Yeah. You're in the AFC North. Mm-hmm. You're with Cleveland, who made the playoffs. I still don't know how they won 10, ga- 10 <laughs> games and made the playoffs. I know it. Um, then you have Baltimore in there. Yeah. Pittsburgh's revamped their quarterbacks. Yep. Um, need D-line help. Yes, they do. Um, but they also need, but T. Higgins in the final year of his contract. Yep. Um, so that's a, and Jamar Chase is due for an extension. Mm-hmm. Do they go wide receiver here? Nah. You don't think? I wouldn't. You think they need D-line help? I'd save that for next year, yeah. You think they need D-line help? Yep. So. In that division? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to need defense in that division. Yep. You know? Next, for the first time since 2016. Oh, okay. The Los Angeles Rams have a first round pick. Yep. Who'd they pick in sixteen? Uh that I don't know. He plays quarterback. Oh yeah, Jared Goff. For the Lions. Oh yeah, Jared Goff for that. Um kind of funny here with LA because they made the playoffs. I can't stand them. They have a quarterback in Matt Stafford. You got a running back and you have a running back in Kyron Williams. You have Puka Nakua, Tyron Atwell. I mean, they got everything offensive. They are so annoying. But they yeah. lost Aaron Donald, who just retired. When? <laughs> Do you think this is where they go D-line? I think they go D-line here. I think they can go to hell here. Why? Because I can't stand them. Why can't you stand the Rams? Because, man. L.A. shouldn't even have a football team, A. And they think they're so sweet. They got D. two teams, though. I know. They got two teams. Neither one should be in town. Why? Because L.A. doesn't care. I thought LA always cares. They like the Di- the Dodgers and the Lakers. That's it. Not even the LA Kings? The Kings are all right. Uh-huh. The Kings are all right. They don't care about the Rams. And they sure as hell don't care about the Chargers. But Harbaugh's there now. So what? Jim Harbaugh's there now. There's no Charger fans in LA. They're all down in San Diego. And there's not even that many of them down there anyways. So you think the Chargers should move? They should have never moved. <laughs> they didn't move north. So, I am, I'm sorry. All right. So, the Rams, so I don't the Rams, know. They got to go get they got to go get a D lineman. Yeah. They got they got to get defense. They got to go defense. They got to go best defensive player available. Yeah, I could see them going with a receiver though. Why? Because they're crazy and they have to capitalize on Stafford's window and Stafford needs a lot of help. But they don't need another wide receiver. They got two short guys, man. And Higby, when's he coming back? He was the main part of their offense. Okay. Cooper and Puka, they're a nightmare. They're a nightmare to cover. They mm-hmm. are. Yes. But when things tighten up in the red zone, they need a bigger body. And I know people will say. That was instrumental in the game against the Lions. Uh, uh, yeah, it was very instrumental in the game against the Lions. It was a little bit. The Lions were able to get off the field. Mm-hmm. On third downs, fourth right. field goals. That's right. true. That's right. true. Right. So I could see them going receiver here. I mm-hmm. could see them getting a big guy if he's if there's mm-hmm. you know, somebody still available there. Yes. Worthy of a 16th pick. So that will be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. And then next we have the um, Pittsburgh Steelers drafting at 20 overall. Yeah. And they've got a traded Kenny Pickett. <laughs> they did wait. What? Did they trade Penny oh, Pickett? K- I thought. I, I thought he's. Is he still on the roster? No, nah, he's gone. Oh. He went to Philly. Yeah, he went to Philly. Um, They got a quarterback in Russell Wilson. Didn't they trade? And they got Justin Fields. So now yeah. they got two quarterbacks there. Yeah. Yeah. So. They have a very interesting quarterback situation. Very interesting quarterback situation. And then you look at Pittsburgh, you know what I mean? And they got linebackers. Um, corner looks like an interesting spot. They still got plenty of holes to, um, they got to prioritize cornerback and linebacker, especially in the inside. So back seven on the D? Back seven on the D. Pittsburgh's got to address it. Okay. They got to address it. Next up. Could go on offense, too. Who knows? They could go offense. I mean, running back, you know, they got the back. And then obviously wide receiver, yeah. You need wide receiver help. Well, they got. Pickens and who's that other guy? Johnson? Yeah. Are they both still there? I think they're both still there. Okay. Um, next trick pick is the Miami Dolphins. Oh my goodness. 
This is the first pick. The Dolphins own the fir- a first round pick for the first time since 2021. Okay, when they took Tua. Yep. They need they need to at safety linebacker and interior defensive line. Wait a minute. When did they take Tua? Mm-hmm. It's like 19. Okay. But they got to resign to it. And you know how his deal is going to work. Yeah. Not good. Not good for the Dolphins. No. And it's going to be a financial nightmare. So they got to go. They got to hit on this pick. Yeah. They need their needs at safety, linebacker. Need a lot of help on the D. Yes. And the interior offensive line. Yeah. You get one of those three. Right. You're going to be fine. Yeah. You, get hit, you hit one of those three, you're going to be fine. Knowing the Dolphins, they'll go receiver. Yes. Knowing them, yes. Um, next, the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the first thing you're going to look at is corner. Okay. <laughs> because Darius Slay there. Yeah. And they have James Bradbury. Yeah, they're secondary. They Got need linebacker George. help. Yeah. They need linebacker help. I mean, I mean, they'll go, they could go lineman. I mean, Jason, I mean, Kelsey retired. I think they have. Excuse me. I think they had one of their guards that's going to move over. Okay. Yeah. So they, they might, need a guard. They need a guard. Yeah. But they definitely need help in the secondary. Yeah. Because they're getting older. Right. And they just, and we don't know what's going to happen with A.J. Brown. Right. Because <laughs> they just extended. Who was it they extended? Uh, Smith. Yeah, Smith. Yeah. So... Is this Adrian AJ Brown's last year? Of this I think deal? this is last year. Okay, wow. So well, he was a draft day trade, right? He was Tennessee. a draft day trade, yeah, from Tennessee. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him come here, man. If he comes here to Detroit, oh, they might have something. But then you got to wonder about James Williams. You well, I just say I, I don't know about giving that guy a contract. Why? You know, we're not going to give him a contract. Well, because uh, Amon Ra is going to get paid. We're yeah, Amon Ra is going to get paid. You know, Goff's going to get. Paid. We're not going to pay some outsider. You know, hey, golf's going to get paid. Oh, yeah. You know and A.J. Brown or, you know, when they talked about trading for uh, mm-hmm. that corner Sneed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, the Lions aren't going to do that. They're going to pay their guys first. Okay. So. And then next we have part of the empire, the Minnesota Vikings, uh-huh. who got the pick from via Cleveland uh-huh. and Houston and Houston. Uh-huh. Are so, they part of your empire, too? N- Cleveland. I got Minnesota, Green Bay, and Baltimore part of my empire. Green Bay? What yes, the hell Green did that Bay. You can ask Chris Bell that question. Okay, do me a favor. You like two NFC North teams? Sure. That are not the Lions? Sure. There's only four teams in the division. Sure. You can ask You can ask Lake Orange football coach Chris Bell that question. Um, But anyway, Minnesota, they could trade this pick, too. Yeah. I could see him trading the pick. Well, they would have had to to go up. Right. You know? I see him trading the pick. Okay. So Minnesota's not picking here. Mm Mm-hmm. Who knows? Maybe Detroit gets moves up. Detroit moves up. Well, this pick will be part of whoever they trade up with. Mm -hmm. Arizona. Arizona. Or the Chargers. Or the Chargers, yep. Somebody like that. Yeah. So, we'll see. But Minnesota needs, I think they need a corner. Yeah. They need a corner. They do. Maybe another lineman. You know? Yeah. They could use some help on that D-line, too. They yes, lost Daniel Hunter. Yes, they lost Daniel Hunter. I mean, they need and help on that D-line. what it's worth. You know? So, we'll see where that one goes. Yeah. Next is America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Plays in the AFC, at NFC East. Yeah. Um, got aided by the referees. Yeah. Uh, his run defense got exposed by um, Aaron Jones. Uh-huh. And um, who was James Cook of the Buffalo Bills? Uh, so Dallas needs. I could see Blake Corm coming here. Oh my! In the first in round. In the first round. No way. They need I would, a running back. I would laugh for. A they, month Dallas straight. needs a running back. But him in the first round. They could use a, a, a highly electric player. I could see. I could see Blake Corm going here. I could not. Why? Because he's slow as molasses. Okay. But, I don't even know his times. I'm just telling you. But it's when fun. you look at what Dallas needs, obviously, offensive line. 
They need a lot of help. They need on a offense. lot of help on offense. Yeah, they need a tight they end. They need a tight end. They need a well, receiver. They, well, who's their tight end? Ferguson. Ferguson though. They got Ferguson though. And they got CD. Yeah, CD and Lamb. That's about it. They need opposite. They need opposite receiver. Opposite CD. Yeah. Um, and a running back. And a running back. Yep. And I mean, a line help. And a line help. Yep. That's what they need. Oh, they need help. And they got to pay Dak apparently. And they got to pay Dak. And I don't know if they're. Gonna, I don't know if they're going to pay Dak. I don't, really don't know. Yeah. Defensively, this team needs some help. I mean, they let Stephon Gilmore walk. Yep. Um, they let Dorrance Armstrong walk. Um, so they got to get some help there. They got to get some help there, brother. They need a lot of help. I know they do. Next up at twenty-five, the Green Bay Packers. They got the quarterback. Yeah. They lost David at Bakhtiari. Yeah, he was never playing anyways. But they got to get line help. They do. They got to get an offensive lineman. They do. Does that Oregon guy make fit, make sense for Green Bay? Yeah. You know, obviously so. you look at and then you look at that division that they're in. Yeah. I mean, I still think obviously Detroit's the team to beat in that division. That's right. <laughs> um, but Green Bay did beat Detroit on Thanksgiving. That'll happen. Lions are not good on Thanksgiving. It's been a while. I know they used to be okay. What? Once or twice in my life. <laughs> yeah. But they got five picks in the first three rounds. Who, Packers? Yep. Yeah. A lot of that thanks to Aaron Rodgers' trade. Yeah. Yep. Don't you love Aaron Rodgers? No. <laughs> of course you don't. Of course you don't. No. I, I wonder. I got to wonder here if. um. I got to wonder. I got to ask Mr. Garcia this question. Okay. What is he, your guru here? He is my foot. He is my football guru. He is my football guru. All right. And 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 remember and remember that name. Nick Garcia, you know? Okay. Football guru. Uh, okay. okay. All right. It's branded, huh? Yep. It's branded. I'm gonna go file that copyright real quick. You <laughs> should. Sure. And you can pay me for it. <laughs> I am not paying you for it. All right. I am not paying you for it. I already got the website. <laughs> www.footballguru.com. Okay then. How much you want to pay for that? Uh maybe a penny. Okay, next no we deal. next we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers drafted twenty six overall. Yeah. Okay. Yep. They just resigned Bank. Yeah. They just resigned um Evans. Mike Evans. Yeah, they need a lot of help on D man. Yes, they do. They just lost their corner. Yep. Who in a trade with the Lions? They got an extra third round pick. Yep. Um, so that'll help them. They got a. They don't have their defensive coordinator anymore. Or their O coordinator. Or their O coordinator. Did they lose their D coordinator? Yeah, they lost it. I think the D coordinator is head coach somewhere. Who? The O coordinator is in Carolina. Mm-hmm. Carnell is Dave Carnell. I think the D coordinator is probably, i got to figure out where he's at. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I know they lost both the coordinators. Todd Bowles runs that defense. Oh, Todd anyways. Bowles runs that defense, yeah. Head coach. Yes. So, but Tampa Bay, you know what I mean? But Tampa Bay, they could be a scary team in the South. Yeah. Be scary. Yeah. You don't think so? Nah. Okay. I think Baker. I don't know. I don't know. Next up, draft in 27th, the Arizona Cardinals. Hmm. This is the trade with the Houston Texans. Okay. So, Arizona needs a lot of help. We already know that. Yep. Um, They they, they need a lot of help, as mentioned. Mm-hmm. Offensive line may help. If they don't draft Marvin Harrison here, then they got to go get a receiver here late in the first round. They got to. Right. They got to. Right. Okay. They got to come away with one. Yes, they do. Draft 28 to Buffalo Bills. Oh, gosh. Uh, wide receiver make? Wide receiver? Yeah. Linebacker? Anybody. Right. Anybody. Uh, Everybody. They need players. They need, they need running back help? I mean, I mean, I feel bad for Josh Allen. Yeah. Why? Yeah. They just lost to the Chiefs last year. Yeah, I know. I was rooting for the Bills. But. They lost to the Chiefs last year, and then their field goal kicker decided to miss it wide right. Yeah. It's insane. And Steph Diggs decided to drop a ball, too. Yeah, and Steph Diggs decided to drop a football. Now he got built. He got traded to Houston. Right. So, yeah, they need they need, they need need help they need here. Anybody. Anybody they can get. They don't need running back help, but they do yeah. need a receiver. They do need a line. Yeah. Um. They need, they need a lot on defense. A lot on defense, yep. They need a lot of help there. 
So we'll see how that one goes. Next is our hometown team, the Detroit Lions. Yeah. They have to address the defense in this draft. Yeah. They have to address it. I could see them going O-line here, though. Why do you see them going O-line? Just by the players that are available, the talent left on the board. Mm-hmm. Well, why do you see them? I see a couple good O linemen. Do you see Kool Aid being here? Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. From what I hear about him, he's not who we want. Okay. But so many people think that's who we're gonna draft, and I just it's Kool Aid. Yeah, Kool Aid would be an interesting. But then again, you does he fit Dan Campbell's style? Right. That's the question. I could also see them not drafting here. Maybe trading down, or up, or up. You know, up but they down. need a lockdown corner. They do. I mean, obviously, look at what happened with Cam Sutton. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, oh, but they do need another edge rusher around Swanee Gaten Hutchinson. I don't know if Davenport's the answer. They could use a receiver. Could use a uh, – I don't know if they're going to go receiver. I don't know if they will. It just depends. It depends. Blue brand I, the boys like. I don't know if they're going to go wide receiver. Okay. How about this? Do you see them drafting here, yes or no? Do you think they move? I think they move. Do you think they move up or back? It's gonna. This is going to shock Lions fans and fan Lions fans. But I see them trading down. Trading back? Trading back. And not drafting in the first round. Maybe getting more picks. You know what I mean? Getting, getting more out picks. Out of the first round. It got three guys in the top 100. You know what I mean? It got three picks. I'd be fine with it. You'd be fine with it. I'd be fine with it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But. I'd be fine with them going up and getting. But if they go up too. and get somebody, yeah, that'd be something. That would be. They got some draft capital, though. They got players, too. They got players. You never know. Y- yeah, you they never could, know. They could trade a player. You never know. Yeah. 30 is my Baltimore Ravens. Um, They lost their starting off at the tackles. Yeah. Um, They lost both their starting guards. They need O-line help. They need O-line help. In the worst way. For Lamar Jackson, yes. And they need defensive help. They did get Derrick Henry. But he ain't no line help. Yeah. They can I mean, use Lamar, ja- too. Lamar Jackson, of course, he's in the, um, he had a five year, um, $260 million contract extension last year. Mm-hmm. They need offensive receivers. line help. They need receivers. They need everything. They do. They need everything. On, on offense. Their defense is pretty good still. Mm-hmm. And that'll be interesting to see. They lost a lot more on offense. I mean, for a team that went to the AFC Championship game, had a who looked like the best team, who looked like the best team in football, and then I don't know what the heck happened to them against Kansas City. KC, they were good. Man. It was their defense that won oh, them yeah. that game. It was oh, Spagnuolo's yeah. defense. I mean, yep. it wasn't Mahomes that beat them. It was their no. defense that beat them. Oh yeah. So it was shocking. Yep. Really shocking. Um, and then we have the two Super Bowl champion, the two Super Bowl representatives, the final two picks. We got the San Francisco 49ers. Puke. Um, they have a first-round pick for the first time since 2021. Ugh. They moved up for Trey Lance. Um, <laughs> I remember that in 2021. Oh, brother. Which yeah. ended up being a disaster. A complete disaster. They traded him to Dallas, and they've really benefited under Brock Purdy. Yeah. Watch for Brandon Ayuk. I think he could be traded here. On draft night? On draft night. I okay. think Ayuk could be traded. I could see. Because I know he's been demanding for he's been demanding a trade. Yeah, he wants to get paid or get trade. He wants to get paid or get trade. Mm-hmm. Um, I could see him maybe going to Jacksonville. Interesting. But even though I think um, I think they I think I think they overpaid um somebody Tennessee overpaid Calvin Ridley. I know that. Yeah. Um, but I could see Jacksonville here as okay. a perfect fit for um. For um, Ayuk, Ayuk, I could see that. I mean, they need wide receiver help, obviously. Um, obviously, I run CMC with them. Mm-hmm. You got three. I mean, your defense. You need help on both sides of the ball. You need help. So, here's my take on that. I think San Francisco. It wouldn't surprise me if they drop trade out of this okay. pick. Wouldn't surprise me because they get more picks. Yeah. Because they need some help elsewhere. Offensive line could be an interesting spot for them. 
that maybe defense, defense especially because their defense did not look good against the Lions nor in the Super Bowl. Right. Well, NFC title game. Mm-hmm. And so that could be an interesting spot. Yeah. So is that where you can see San Fran going? Yeah, I think so. D, and the, D side. Yes. And then our last team to pick here is the Kansas City Chiefs. They need yeah. wide receiver help. Yes. They Desperately. need wide receiver help. Desperately. And I don't know if. And cornerback. And corner. Yep, they just traded their best corner to Tennessee. So, they addressed those needs. Yep. And who wouldn't want to play with Patrick Mahomes? You have to, if you're a receiver, you have to be nuts. You have to, to be nuts. not want to play with him. But, you know, he played quarterback. He was at Texas Tech. Yeah. Texas Tech's got a history of drafting quarterbacks. Cliff Kingsbury, perfect example. Um, I think he's coaching college somewhere now. Cliff, I believe, is in D.C. now. As the offensive coordinator? I believe. Okay. He's there. A coach in D.C. Who got hired there? Uh, that I don't know. Why do I think he's the coordinator now? But I can't mm-hmm. remember who. But it'll be interesting to see. Oh. Who? Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn's not a good hire. Yeah. He is not a good hire. It's Dan Quinn, right? In Washington? It's Dan Quinn, yeah. yeah. He used to be a defensive coordinator in Dallas. Yes. Head coach. Head, head coach. coach of Atlanta? I think he was in Atlanta, yes. Yeah. Still, terrible. Terrible move. <laughs> but Kansas City needs wide receiver help. That's obvious. Right, yes. I mean, they, they obviously need help. And there are, to me, there are some good receivers in this draft, you know, all yeah, throughout the first will and they, second round. Will they find the right one available for them? I, I mean, obviously – you know, obviously, you know, for a wide receiver. They super- need to find someone who can catch. Yes, they do. Not hard if you're a receiver. No, not hard. I mean, they didn't have Travis Kelsey. And then, of course, you know, Travis Kelsey, we don't know what's going to happen with him considering he's dating Taylor Swift now. He could just become a stay-at-home dad. He could, yes. He could. He could. But, you know, he won't. You never know. But they, defense Maybe he be, could come on our podcast since he loves podcasts. Defense podcasting. could be really interesting. Yeah, if he comes to our podcast, it'd be great. <laughs> that would be really interesting. We'd have to have beer ready for him. Why do we have to have beer ready for him? He seems to like it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Just like me in Caseville, you're going to need to have the beer ready, buddy boy. Uh, of course. <laughs> um, So when you look at the teams that didn't have draft picks, Cleveland and Houston. Uh, yes. Oh, no, sorry, not Cleveland. Um, Or Cleveland? Carolina and Houston. Carolina, okay. Carolina and Houston. I mean, I'm Houston. Obvi- I can understand what they're doing because they're going all in. They're in a good spot. They're in a great spot. They're in a great spot. Carolina, what are you doing? They are going to be irrelevant for a long time. Man. I know. I mean, it's I mean, going to be brutal there. It's going to be a nightmare being a Panthers fan. It's right. gonna be a brutal night. It's been rough for a while. It's been rough for a while, but then you get, and then you find out you get, you basically lose two first round picks. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We will. Can't right. wait for draft night. Can't wait for draft night in Detroit. Yep. Um, been a good episode here of last three brain cells here. Um, hoping to have more. Maybe have a draft recap here. Um, seeing what you think right now heading yep. in. Um, previewing this year's NFL draft in the D. Um, down at Hart Plaza. Um, it should be a good night for everybody in the NFL football world. Hope everybody boos Roger Goodell like crazy because a lot of Detroit fans are going to boo him like crazy. And any division rival. And any division rival pick. So, we'll see, what we'll see what happens. All right, everybody, we're signing off here. Um, take care. God bless. And we will all see you soon. God bless them. <laughs>